Whenever you're using an external microphone or any kind of microphone or when you're just doing any kind of video or recording, you have to check the audio levels and the audio levels are actually not kind of perfect right out of the camera and that's kind of a misconception that people have when they use our microphones I think is they think okay I plug in the microphone it's gonna give me great audio straight out of the you know the, out of the camera and I don't have to do anything. Sometimes that's true when you're using, for example, the EIM-001 or ETM-001. Those two microphones will boost the audio volume. Same with the ETM-006 or ETM-003. All of those microphones will boost the audio volume. But microphones like the ETM-008 or the EIM-008 or the EIM-003, they do not boost audio volume. So you have to adjust your audio volume in editing. And that's pretty much the same for all microphones, it's not just ours. So what you wanna do is you wanna get the settings to around minus six decibels on average. So you'll see some audio level meters when you're doing your editing, and you'll notice that they kind of like jump up and up and down as you're talking in the video. So you want that to be set at approximately minus six decibels. Any higher and it goes really up to the red part, and that is too loud, it's clipping. Any lower and people have a hard time hearing you. So make sure that you set those levels properly. So I hope you have a better understanding of why you need to set the audio levels and you know that microphones aren't going to just magically make the levels perfect. They are really just there to capture better quality audio so that you can make those adjustments later on. All right, so let me know if you have any questions or comments about making videos and playing around with the audio, uh, choosing microphones, anything like that, all right? And make sure you like and subscribe too. Thanks for watching, talk to you again soon, bye-bye. So when you are recording videos with your iPhone, one of the biggest challenges is actually dealing with background noise. And so right now, actually, I'm recording this video